Hello, Dustin Rose here behind the Audix SCX25A microphone plugged into a Rattlesnake XLR cable. Uh, we're here with you today with the Breed Love Firelight. This is a beautiful, beautiful guitar. I have so many things to say about it. Um, it's all solid mahogany and it's, a, it's just a, a, a tone machine. It's amazing. If you're into that warm, woody, mid-range, smoky sounding mahogany, this is the guitar for you. Uh, it has quite the story too. I, I went in to get a different mahogany guitar to breed love. I went in to go get the the uh, the Concerto Frontier, which I have. It's over there a little way, uh, somewhere over there. And, um, and we'll do a demo on that one at some point. It's a great guitar as well. But I was talking with my buddy Wilson who used to work there and I said, hey, um, Wilson, what's your favorite mahogany guitar? Because I'm pretty sure that, you know, I mean, there's a lot of mahogany guitars out there. The Frontier was is a great design, a great uh, well-made guitar that's all mahogany from Breedlove. And then I knew that, the, like, Guild had the, the M20 and... And there was, you know, Martin has some and, and, and all of these different, you know, Gibson has theirs and, and Taylor has theirs. But what is your favorite, Wilson? And he didn't even hesitate. He pointed right to this guitar and it was actually this particular guitar. And I said, what's so good about that guitar? And I picked it up and I played it and I said, that's what's so good about that guitar. It's the tone and, uh, and the action. Uh, one of the things that sets this particular guitar apart is that the finish is so, so light. It's very thin finish, uh, which means that it allows the guitar to vibrate more and to be more resonant and to have more life in it. And it, it's not quite so coated with the, the finish that it doesn't move. It doesn't take a while to break this guitar in, I, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, it's in the concert size, which means that it's a little bit bigger than the OM. It's about the same category as the om but it's uh it's a little bit bigger the box i think is slightly bigger in some areas um it, which gives it a little bit more volume a little bit more depth to the sound in my opinion uh but it's very comparable to that size it's very comfortable to play and it doesn't overpower people when they're singing or overpower other instruments now um, it's not as big as the Dreadnought, which uh, the Breedlove uh, uh, brand has, has replaced the Dreadnought with the Concerto, which is in that category. This one is in the middle. There's, it's, there's also one that's the parlor size, which is the Concertina. This one's right in the middle. And it, what you get with it is a very, very good finger-picking machine. Now, the, the Breedlove concerts are finger-picking machines. They have really, really well... Uh, balanced action here and uh, and and the sound is amazing it's articulate it gives separation of notes and all that kind of stuff that you want when you're finger picking but with the concert size you can also strum you can also do some light to medium strumming with it without it completely uh, overpowering the box and becoming uh, like hitting the, the the ceiling with it so there's a lot of headroom with it for for strumming uh, the concert size is just a magical size, and I, I think Breedlove knows that because that's that's like their flagship, um, and it's a great design. Uh, so this is a what this is is a is a all mahogany, all solid mahogany, uh, finger picking and strumming machine. It sounds great. It's got a very light finish on it, which allows it to just ring out and have lots of volume to it, and it's just a really really well made guitar, and. Um, I can't I can't say enough amazing things about this car, guitar, but let's let's listen to it for a little bit here, and then we'll have a conversation about it.
Well, as you can tell, this is a really, really great mahogany sounding guitar. Now, if, uh, mahogany sound is hard to characterize. It's hard to describe. What I hear is like a mid-range hum, a mid-range growl. Uh, it, it, the mahogany is more about how you feel it instead of how you hear it. A lot of times in the mix, it doesn't stand out. It doesn't jump out at you like rosewood or maple. Maple would jump out definitely, and even myrtle wood. Uh, and and stuff like that they they have they they have a certain place that they fit in the mix and sometimes they're a little bit um, they they jump out a little bit more mahogany doesn't do that mahogany is a little bit more subtle a little bit more mid mid range and it has that growl it has that hum that um, that is so mahogany uh, exclusive almost and it, it's really good for a couple of different types of of songs uh, of styles of music one of them is blues. The old blues guys used to play a lot of mahogany, uh, smaller body mahogany guitars. This would work out really well with that style. It would also work out really well with singer-songwriters um, because mahogany, what mahogany does is, it, it depending on your, your vocal style and your, your the range that you're in, mahogany really complements the voice because it doesn't compete with it. It fills in as a really good accompanying instrument with your voice. And if you don't have a huge loud voice, Mahogany does a really good job of wrapping around it because it has a certain mid mid to low range uh, frequency quality to it that it really kind of is a cushion underneath your your voice and it will not jump out and compete with you in different different places for the most part. I mean it's individually every individual is a little bit different, but it's not going to compete with you uh, vocally uh, for the most part. Um, this one I've seen played uh, at open mics. I've seen it played. Uh, with different singer-songwriters, I've seen. Um, I've even seen it played at church, which I thought that that can't be because it's a smaller-bodied mahogany. I've heard it played at church and actually do a really, really good job of leading, uh, kind of having that that good full mid-range uh, ability to lead a congregation. Um, it, it's a good all-around guitar, but it really, really does highlight the qualities of the mahogany. That that dark, woody, bluesy. Um, very natural, smoky sound that mahogany has, uh, especially as a top wood. Now, if you disagree with me, comment below because I want to start the conversation. Let's have the musical conversation. Let's talk about these guitars. So if you'd like to leave a comment uh, arguing with me or telling me that you, you disagree because of X, Y, or Z, let me know down below. Uh, comment and, and let's start the conversation because what you hear and what I hear might be two different things and, and uh, we, need to, we need to let that conversation be had. If you like what you hear, you can check me out anywhere you like to enjoy your music. Also, if you want to find out what projects I'm working on or where I'm going to be playing after this whole quarantine thing is over, you can check out my website, DustinRose.com, and keep up with me there. I appreciate you joining me, and let's keep the musical conversation going. And uh, So give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like, and I'd really appreciate that. Uh, I, I appreciate you also listening and taking the time to watch this. So uh, thank you and God bless.